dear students welcome you all to this presentation on cam mechanism session outcome at the end of this session the student will be able to have a basic knowledge of cam and follower overview so first i will give introduction to cam and follower later i will explain the classification of follower as well as the classification of cams this cam and follower mechanism mainly used to convert a rotary motion into reciprocating or oscillating motion cam and follower mechanism is used to convert rotary motion into reciprocating or oscillating motion observe the animation this rotating machine element is called cam and reciprocating or oscillating element is called the follower a cam is a rotating machine element which gives reciprocating or oscillating motion to another element known as follower observe the animation here the cam and follower they have point or line contact since they have point or line contact they form the higher pair we know the difference between higher pair and lower pair right so in lower pair the elements of a kinematic pair have surface to surface contact so in case of higher pair the elements of a kinematic pair they have point or line contact since the cam and follower they have line or point contact so they constitute the higher pair so here the cam are usually rotated with uniform speed by a shaft but the motion of the follower is predetermined and that depends upon the profile of the cam profile of the cam means shape of the cam so motion anta bandaga so now previous semester galli now different motions bage study madirtivi for example uniform velocity motion ide simple harmonic motion ide uniform acceleration and retardation cycloidal motion ide so e follower during its travel it may moves with uniform velocity or it may moves with simple harmonic motion or it may moves with uniform acceleration and retardation so yav motion alli e follower travel maadbeku antakanta decide maadtakanta factor yavudu antanda it is a profile of the cam that is shape of the cam then we will see the application of cam the cams are widely used for operating inlet and exhaust valves of internal combustion engines so this animation clearly explain how this cam and follower mechanisms used to open or close the inlet and outlet valves of internal combustion engines cam and follower mechanisms so also used in paper cutting machines they are used in spinning and weaving textile machineries feed mechanism of automatic glaze automatic attachment of machineries etc the classification of followers the followers they are classified based on three parameters the first one according to the surface in contact according to the motion of the follower according to the path of motion of the follower 
according to surface in contact the followers are classified as knife edge follower roller follower flat face or mushroom follower spherical faced follower according to motion of the follower the followers are classified as reciprocating or translating follower second one oscillating or rotating follower according to the path of the motion of the follower the followers are classified as radial follower and offset follower knife edge followers observe the animation when the contacting end when the contacting end of the follower has a sharp knife edge then the follower is known as knife edge follower so here the follower and the cam have sliding motion so these type of followers are rarely used because the small area of contact results in excessive wear excessive wear so in knife edge follower we have one more disadvantage that is a considerable side thrust exists between follower and the guide a considerable side thrust exists between follower and the guide base roller follower so when the contacting end of the follower is a roller it is called a roller follower when the contacting end of the follower is a roller it is called a roller follower in case of roller follower a rolling motion takes place between the contacting surfaces that is between follower and the cam since here we have rolling motion the rate of wear is greatly reduced so here also the side thrust exists between the follower and the guide base roller followers extensively used where the more space is available like stationary uh, gas and oil engines and aircraft engines flat face or mushroom follower when the contacting end of the follower is a perfectly flat face it is called a flat face follower when the contacting end of the follower is a perfectly flat face then the follower is called flat faced follower so in case of flat face follower the side thrust between follower and the guide is much reduced compared to knife edge and roller follower so this is the main advantage of flat face follower the flat face followers are generally used where the space is limited example the walls of automobile engines are operate are operated by the flat face follower flat face follower when the flat faced follower is circular then it is called a mushroom follower so it is then called a mushroom follower spherical faced follower so when the contacting end of the follower is of spherical shape it is called a spherical faced follower 
when the contacting end of the follower is of spherical shape it is called a spherical faced follower so when a flat faced follower used in automobile engines high surface stresses are produced so in order to minimize this stresses the flat end of the follower is machined to the spherical shape so second classification according to the motion of the follower so under this classification so we have two types of followers the first one the reciprocating or oscillating follower the second one oscillating or rotating follower reciprocating or translating follower observe the animation as the cam rotates the follower reciprocates right when the follower reciprocates in guides as the cam rotates uniformly it is known as reciprocating or translating follower the followers shown in figure a b c d they are all reciprocating followers they are all reciprocating follower oscillating or rotating follower observe the animation here the follower oscillates as the cam rotates so when the uniform rotary motion of the cam is converted into pre determined oscillatory motion of the follower it is called oscillating or rotating follower the third classification according to the path of motion of the follower so here the follower is classified as radial follower offset follower radial follower observe the animation so observe the path of motion of the follower the path of motion of the follower along an axis passing through the center of the cam when the motion of the follower is along an axis passing through the center of the cam it is known as radial follower the followers shown in figure a b c the path of motion of the follower passing through the center of the cam so the followers shown in the figure a b c they are all radial followers offset follower so here the path of motion of the follower along an axis away from the center of the cam center of the cam the path of motion of the follower is offset from the center of the cam when the motion of the follower is along an axis away from the axis of the cam center it is called offset followers now we'll see the classification of cam basically we have two types of cam radial or disc cam second one cylindrical cam radial or disc cam in radial cams the follower reciprocates or oscillates in a direction perpendicular to cam axis so in radial cam the follower reciprocates or oscillates perpendicular to cam axis this is the cam axis the follower reciprocates or oscillates perpendicular to this cam axis cylindrical cam in cylindrical cams the follower reciprocates or oscillates in a direction parallel to cam axis the first one it is a cylindrical cam with reciprocating follower so the second one the cylindrical cam with oscillating follower 
So here the follower reciprocates parallel to the cam axis. The second case the follower oscillates parallel to the cam axis. When the follower reciprocates or oscillates the parallel to the cam axis, then the cams are known as cylindrical cams. So first, we saw the definition of cams and followers. Next, uh, we discussed about the classification of followers and cams. So cam is a rotating machine element which gives a reciprocating or oscillating motion to another element known as follower, right? The classification of followers. So followers are classified based on three parameters according to surface in contact. So here we have knife edge follower, roller follower, flat face or mushroom follower, spherical faced followers. Second classification is according to the motion of the follower. So under this classification, we have reciprocating follower and oscillating followers. The third classification according to the path of motion of the follower. So under this classification, we have radial follower and offset followers. Classification of cam. We have two types of cam, radial cam or disc cam. In radial cams, the follower reciprocates or oscillates in a direction perpendicular to cam axis. In a direction perpendicular to the cam axis. In cylindrical cam, the follower reciprocates or oscillates in a direction parallel to cam axis. The follower reciprocates or oscillates in a direction parallel to the cam axis. Now we will see the multiple choice questions. The first one, a radial follower is one that reciprocates in the guides that oscillates in which the follower translates along an axis passing through cam center of rotation, none of the above. So in radial cams, as we have discussed in the previous slide, the path of motion of the follower passing through the center of the cam, right? So when the motion of the follower is along an axis passing through the center of the cam, it is known as radial cam, sorry, radial follower. The answer is C. A radial follower is one in which the follower translate along an axis passing through the cam center of rotation. Second one, offset is provided to a cam follower mechanism to minimize the side thrust, accelerate, avoid jerk, none of the, none of these. So as we have discussed in the previous slide, the offset is provided to a cam follower mechanism to minimize the side thrust, right? The answer is A. The cam follower generally used in automobile engine is knife edge follower, flat face follower, spherical face follower, roller follower. <coughs> so as we have discussed in the previous slide, the flat face followers are generally used where space is limited. Example, to operate walls of automobile engines. So answer is B, flat faced follower. The cam follower extensively used in aircraft engine is knife edge follower, flat faced follower, spherical faced follower, roller follower. So as we have discussed, roller followers are extensively used where more space is available, such as in stationary gas and oil engines and aircraft engines. So the answer is D, 
roller follower. Fifth one, when the motion of the follower is along an axis passing through the center of the cam, then the follower is known as when the motion of the follower is along an axis passing through the center of the cam, it is known as a radial follower. So the answer is B, radial follower. Sixth one, in dash cam, the follower reciprocates or oscillates in a direction parallel to cam axis. The option is, options are a radial cam, cylindrical cam, disc cam, none of the above. So in cylindrical cam, the follower reciprocates or oscillates parallel to the cam axis, right? So answer is B. Seventh one, in radial cams, the follower reciprocates in a direction perpendicular to cam axis. Options are true or false. So in radial cams, the follower reciprocates or oscillates in a direction perpendicular to cam axis. So answer is A, true. A roller follower is preferred to that of knife edge follower. Rate of wear is greatly reduced. Side thrust between the follower and guides is reduced. Easy to manufacture. None of the above. Answer is A. Since in case of roller follower, rolling motion takes place between roller and the cam. So definitely. A rolling friction is much less than sliding friction. So roller followers is preferred to the tough knife edge follower because rate of wear is greatly reduced. The answer is A. When the flat face follower is circular, it is then called a mushroom follower, right? The answer is C. Last one. Which of the followers minimize the surface stresses? Knife edge follower, roller follower, flat face follower, spherical face follower. The answer is D. The spherical, in case of spherical face follower, so they minimize the surface stresses. Thank you.